very happy to introduce who I believe is the greatest vice chair the state party has ever had, my friend, president of the AFL-CIO, a firefighter and American hero, Jim Judd. I want to say that it is always great to look out over a great group of Democrats. Now, you'll notice I haven't quite figured out, but we have a lot of gems when we're at the uh, party office, so I figure we've got Jim the congressman who's been there a long time, we've got Jim DeBacchus who is our number one, so I always consider myself Jim three. <laughs> so, if you're looking for me in the office and you just call and say, I need Jim three. You know, there are some wonderful people running for office, and I wanted to take a few minutes tonight to talk about a, a uh, candidate for attorney general. Uh, I worked for the Yonkin City Fire Department and had an opportunity to work with a lot of great county attorneys in Weaver County. The one there now has the stamina, has the ability and the capability, and he's the only candidate for Attorney General who's been a prosecutor who knows how to take care of crime. We have a great candidate in D. Smith, and I want you to tell everyone that this sometimes soft-spoken candidate knows how to take people on, and he stands for what's right, and we need an Attorney General who will go in and clean up what's going on in the Attorney General's office in this state, and that man is D. Smith for Attorney General. <laughs> the last person I wanted to kind of mention this evening is somebody that I'm sure many of you have met once before, and that's a fellow by the name of Wayne Holland. Uh, Wayne served three terms as chair, which is uh, above and beyond the call in anyone's mind because, as Jim can tell you, being chair of the party, you never please anyone. <laughs> uh, it's not a matter of making some happy and some not so happy, but you have that uh, sometimes dubious honor of making everyone angry as you try to do those things that are best to advance the party. I'm so proud of our current chair. But Wayne's had the opportunity to serve on the National Democratic National Committee as the chair from the state of Utah. And I think it gives us a great opportunity to put experience to work, make sure that Wayne Holland is still there, bringing resources and people to the state of Utah, one of the original ones that took us red states, as they keep referring to us, and started investing national money in making sure that the state of Utah can eventually become magenta, then purple, then blue. Yeah.